Another major story this morning, that defiant wartime visit to Washington by the president of Ukraine. NBC's chief White House correspondent Peter Alexander is here with more. Hey, Peter. Chanel and Craig, good morning to both of you. This really was a powerful moment last night. You had President Zelensky, remember, just 24 hours removed from the battlefield, punctuating his trip to Washington with what was a personal appeal for more assistance, speaking before that joint session of Congress that right now is debating whether to send tens of billions of dollars in new aid to Ukraine. The Ukrainian leader arguing their decisions can save millions of people. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky delivering an impassioned plea to America, calling for an end to the Russian invasion. Ukraine didn't fall. Ukraine is alive and kicking. In his 25-minute address, Zelensky, clad in his signature army green sweater, urging Congress not to abandon the defense of his country after 10 months of war. And next year will be a turning point. I know it, the point when... Ukrainian courage and American resolve must guarantee the future of our common freedom. He pushed lawmakers to approve an additional $45 billion in aid while acknowledging Republican reservations about giving Ukraine a blank check. Your money is not charity. It's an investment in the global security and democracy. Ukraine's president receiving repeated standing ovations from both sides of the aisle as the one-time comedian briefly returned to his roots. We have artillery. Yes. Thank you. We have it. Is it enough? Honestly, not really. <laughs> Punctuating his speech, Zelensky's gift to Congress, a Ukrainian battle flag signed by soldiers on the front lines. This flag is a symbol of our victory in this war. The speech capping off Zelensky's dramatic visit to Washington, his first trip outside Ukraine since the war began. Earlier in the day, meeting with President Biden at the White House. President Zelensky, the United States stands with the brave people in Ukraine. We stand with you. Thanks from our just ordinary people to your ordinary people, Americans. After months of requests from Zelensky for air defenses, President Biden announced the U.S. will provide a single Patriot missile defense system and will train Ukrainians how to use it in a third country. Zelensky also posting these behind-the-scenes videos, sitting down with the president and first lady. Zelensky's trip coming after days of secret planning, all of it ending with a poignant and powerful holiday wish for victory. We'll celebrate Christmas. Celebrate Christmas, and even if there is no electricity, the light of our faith in ourselves will not be put out. It was quite a moment last night. Even Zelensky humbly insisted that the extended standing ovation he got was, in his words, too much for me. In return for that Ukrainian battle flag, the House Speaker, Speaker Nancy Pelosi, you see there, handed him a framed American flag, the flag that flew over the Capitol yesterday in honor of his wow. historic visit. Wow. So how do we expect Congress to respond to this speech? So they want this nearly $45 billion to be going to Ukraine right now. It's wrapped up in what is a $1.7 trillion spending package that Congress is negotiating as we speak. Overnight, the Senate's top Democrat, Chuck Schumer, he expressed some optimism, Chanel, that they could get it done as early as this morning with lawmakers, obviously, like the rest of us, trying to get out of town to their families before the storm hits D.C. But this could also fall apart at any moment because it's tied up with other controversial issues, among them immigration. So for the moment, we should be keeping an eyes on today, see if yeah. it can get it done. All right. But quite the remarkable visual yesterday. It, it was a historic day. All right. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.